Hi guys, this is a pretty quick and easy tutorial on how to use EasyBib, which is the automatic bibliography and citation generator that we're going to be using. Um, and so you can see here, this is the main screen that you're going to get. And um, most of you are going to be citing websites using this tool because our databases are automatically cited um, within those articles. So I'm gonna show you an example of how to cite a website. Now you'll see here there is a tab, a series of tabs across the top, and of course it automatically takes you to where the website is. Okay. Um, generally, I would say avoid the Cite This box. It's very tempting, but a lot of times the information they put in is wrong. If you're going to use it, however, you have to know that you're going to need to go back and check the work. So I'm going to use that as an example, as an example but generally we want to go with manual entry. Um, and when we do the Cite This button, it's going to take us to manual entry anyway. So I'm using this National Park Service website um, <clears throat> that you can see here on the screen. And so I'm going to, and you guys can't see me do this, but I'm going to copy and paste the web address from the URL box at the top and I'm just going to paste that into my box and I'm going to click Cite This. Now I'm going to click um, Continue to the Final Step. Yeah, it doesn't look like they were able to find anything to format that particular website. So um, either way, we have to put in the information. So what I'm going to do is go to where it says article title. I don't have to worry about anything else that's here, um, but I do need to enter an article title. So I'm going to go back to our page. Um, and this is the article that deals with westward migration. Notice that I am um, focusing specifically on the article. I know it says Oregon National Historic Trail, and then I know it says National Park Service. Um, <clears throat> but the actual article I'm using is this one on Westbrook Migration. So I'm gonna make sure that I type it in right here. Okay, so I have Westbrook Migration. I'm gonna check and see if there's any author listed. Um, doesn't look like there's anything there because this is the page that I'm using. Uh, this is the page that I'm citing as if I've gathered information from here. So there's no author. So if that's um, not there, then I'm just going to leave that blank. The website title. We're looking at the website for the National Park Service. That's the name of the website that I'm visiting right now. publisher and sponsor that's going to be located right at the bottom of the page um, it's usually the group that holds the copyright in this particular case there isn't an actual copyright symbol but um, it says National Park Service US Department of the Interior so that's the information I'm going to include so that looks to me like the, the uh, organization that's created the site <coughs> So I have the interior, Department of the Interior. I have the web address page that I'm citing. Yes, I want the URL to be displayed um, because it makes it easier for tracking back to your original site. Um, and then I want to look for the date that it was most re recently published. In this case, I have a full date. So um, February 10th of 2014 is the last update. Uh, if you just have a copyright date, then you would just include the year. That was the 10th of February 2014. And then for the date accessed, I would just put in, uh, it says here, let me get rid of this box, um, it says today, so I'm going to click today, and then I'm going to click create citation. And it really is that simple. Um, you can see here I have an option if I want to edit it I can click edit citation um, but really I'm just going to copy and paste this into my Word document or to wherever it is that I'm gathering my resources onto a works cited page 
um, which makes this a really great tool for uh, developing a works cited page and for creating proper citations for your projects. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and ask me in class.